I am here in Las Vegas, Nevada at CES 2019 at the Mercedes-Benz booth. Now, of course, as you know, they unveiled the EQC, an all-electric SUV, a few months ago. And it kind of started with mixed reviews, but now that I see it in person, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be at the unveiling in Sweden in person, but this is the first time I'm seeing it. And um, it actually looks better in person than in pictures, I have to say. And I already like that in pictures. Um, I, I, I know the concept was really, really futuristic, and it was really Really, really, you know, with all the neon lights, and they obviously kind of, you know, toned it down. I like the compromise between the standard Mercedes-Benz look, which is good, and the futuristic concept that they had. So I think they've done a really good job. Now, it's no secret that I think that the German uh, luxury auto manufacturers will be able to compete with Tesla, not on technology, most likely, not at the range and all that stuff. We will be able to compete with them simply by making luxurious cars with luxury interior, well-built, they already have a service centers, they already have parts that they make in large amounts, you don't have to wait for it like you do with Tesla and, and most likely with uh, uh, most of the uh, manufacturers that are, that are you know, startups that have a limited uh, number of uh, parts that they can make, um, but, but, but it's not a problem with legacy manufacturers, that's kind of the advantage, right? So, um, by the way, before I go any further, of course I want to mention that uh, this show and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla, there's a discount code in the description of this video. By the way, if this is your first time here, don't forget to also click on the subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, now, the, the cool thing about this, we are actually going uh, on a, a test ride in this car later today. And we're gonna be able to experience the ride, the, the, the just so many things. Of course, the just user interface. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this year already, the companies are now focusing on user interface rather than let's unveil a really cool concept. This is the exit execution time so therefore the user experience is very very uh, important as a matter of fact I, I am really excited that there is such thing even as a user experience uh, in cars somehow you know user experience on our phones and TV sets that's a thing right we almost demand that but somehow we don't really we haven't even thought about it until very recently that the UX the user experience should also be great in our cars and as we walk around the show uh, and many other booths um, that, that's where the emphasis is this year of course the emphasis is on actually making these cars this one's going in production this year um, and 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 people will be driving this car by the end of the year um, now I will make a separate video from our test drive later, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'd say within a week or so, I'll have that. You'll, you'll have a better idea what, what our experience is going to be inside. Again, typical luxury Mercedes-Benz. Um, it's also an SUV. Now, one thing I don't like, um, and it's not really, um, it's not really uh, uncommon for a manufacturer maybe not to unveil the range um, well, as far as gas cars are concerned um, until very much closer to production. But with electric cars, we kind of expect it almost right away. You know, the, the original specs, and yes, they're usually exaggerated, but the original specs usually tell you how many miles or kilometers of range they expect to have. Now, when they unveiled this, I think the range was something uh, 250 miles, and then they kind of almost took it back and now they're saying well we're gonna let you guys know uh, closer to production I, I don't, I don't it, that makes me ask a lot of questions I'm sure you as well like what happened why are they kind of backpedaling on this I I say the expected range is going to be 210 to 220 uh, miles on one charge uh, per EPA you know that, that that would be my guess uh, which is still decent you know as you know as long as it's over 200 miles I'm good I'm sure you're good as well most of us charge as we should at home so 200 plus mile range should be more than enough um, they have done extensive testing with these cars um, so they're probably not going to be surprises when the, you know people uh, will, will, will start driving them in um, you know Canada and Michigan and, and and Norway where it's much much colder the performance of the battery goes down significantly this this one thing once again we can count on 
for the legacy manufacturers, yes, they're behind on technology, but they're still very much ahead of all the startups, including Tesla, in terms of testing and in, in, in ensuring that by the time this car gets into your hands, it is a pretty well-made car and all the specs that they're promising are actually going to be what you're going to be getting as a customer. Um, you know, I'm kind of looking forward to your comments as well. I mean, obviously, I, I love the back of the car and I like the front of this car, which kind of rarely happens. It's an SUV, I'm not a big SUV fan, and I think this looks pretty good. I myself am getting e-tron, Audi e-tron, but I gotta tell you, if these guys were um, in production earlier, um, that would be a very close call for me as far as which car would I would be getting next. Um, I will have more details once uh, once we do a little test drive later on tonight. It's going to be nighttime, so we'll we'll probably get a little bit better sense of their um, entertainment system inside. Um, it, it, we don't know how crowded the roads are going to be, but it's going to be definitely exciting going through the streets of Las Vegas uh, in this baby. Well, not this particular one. They have another media car for us later tonight. Um, let me know what you think. Other than that, see you guys next time, and remember to stay charged.